All right, guys. Hey, this is Neon. Uh, I'm doing a live stream by myself. I can't. I can't stay on uh, very long. We did, actually didn't plan on doing any kind of a uh, any kind of a live stream um, today. Uh, let me just make sure we're actually running here. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, <laughs> Twitter. God never ceases to amaze me. Never ceases to amaze me. Uh, earlier today, I was, well, I guess it was yesterday because somebody tweeted it at me. Um, I was called a Nazi by one of Anime News Network's editors, uh, Michael Toole, who's got a, a blue check, uh, called us Nazis, called us Nazis. Um, he uh, put a tweet out as a representative of Anime News Network, the most trusted most trusted uh, name in, in anime news um, that contained a thumbnail of our video on Vic Mignogna. Min, min, Mignogna? Mignogna? Uh, I was Botch's name. Uh, clearly, I do not know him. Um, and and uh, said that, you know, hey, you can also be damn sure the YouTube Nazis are jumping at the chance to monetize this. Uh, great job looking out at YouTube. So not only did the Anime News Network editor... Um, uh, include our video in this tweet calling me a Nazi, but he tweeted it at YouTube. He tweeted it at YouTube uh, to apparently try to what? Get the channel flagged? Um, get the channel flagged? For, for what? The video I did on Vic, now, despite the sensational title, uh, it was kind of tongue-in-cheek because I think the situation with Vic does tie into a bigger issue uh, with anime, we've been hearing rumblings for a while of there being a quote unquote anime gate, which I actually put in, in quotes. Uh, and we are seeing some very weird, uh, stuff coming out of, um, the anime industry, you know, uh, outrage over shows like, you know, Goblin Slayer and Shield Hero. And now the situation with Vic, uh, all I said in regards to the Vic situation was the timing, the timing is odd that everybody is known that these rumors were around Vic for years, but they wait until after uh, Broly makes a ton of money at the box office, <laughs> you know, uh, and I never once, never once, uh, never once uh, excused Vic's behavior. I never uh, made any apologies for Vic. I stated repeatedly, I do not know Vic um, personally. Uh, thank you, Nightwish fan. Uh, didn't have to do that. I've heard ANN and social justice as hell. I have heard this too, and I'll, I'll go into that a little bit. I don't want to, you know, get into a war with them, but I have heard a lot of things behind the scenes. Uh, they're apparently a massive purge on their forums many years ago. Um, I have heard things. I have heard things and I never touched on them because I didn't want to go to war with them. Um, so, you know, the situation with Vic, if you, they had actually watched the video, if they had actually watched the video, they would realize uh, that I was very neutral on the Vic situation. I have had a lot of people, a lot of people come to us behind the scenes regarding the Vic situation, both for and against Vic, um, you know, and we have tried to be as neutral as we possibly could be. Most of the video was basically me reading actually Anime News Network's article and also, uh, you know, some other articles uh, on the situation from, from other news outlets. I, I gave a little bit of an opinion in the fact that not in what... Vic was doing, not excusing uh, Vic's behavior because Vic himself has actually admitted to uh, being being a little touchy feely uh, with underage girls, which I, I don't think is is very prudent. Um, but he, uh, um, you know, he he did apologize in the video for that. I said what's probably going to happen is, you know, regardless of whether or not it was innocuous or, or whatnot, that his career was pretty much over, which it was. I actually recorded a video earlier today on how he was fired from Ruby. I did not say whether it was right or wrong that he was fired uh, from Ruby, just that he was fired from Ruby. I'm not going to be posting that video now. Uh, I'm going to do this instead. Um, so uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's very, uh, you know, interesting though, that they would do this. I I've actually been, I've actually been a guest at many anime conventions, uh, geeky and I, uh, geeky and I have been guests at many anime conventions for our web comics. We know a lot of uh, voice actors in the anime community. We've, we've always been pretty tight with a lot of people in the anime community. Now I said before, I don't know Vic, I don't know Vic, but I know people who know Vic and I've had, you know, people both for and against him, um, coming to me about the situation with information and, and some of it, I, you know, listen to some of it. I'm like, well, that's subjective. You know, I don't know what to do with it. Uh, we try to be balanced here on clownfish TV, uh, but to which, you know, anybody who actually watches 
who actually watches the channel uh, would know that we try to be balanced. And that's really, and again, um, Nightwish says, yeah, the rumors have surrounded Vic for years. I know. Uh, and that's why it was so weird. And I said, the timing is weird. The timing is weird. That's what I tried to stress. And, and you know, as part of a bigger attack on anime, that the timing was weird. I, and I never made excuses for Vic. I said, I don't even know where I come down on this. Just here are the facts. Here's what we know. Um, here's what it could be. Here he's apologizing. And his career is absolutely going to be damaged regardless of whether or not he, he did anything uh, uh, too inappropriate. But to have the editor... The editor of, or one of the editors of Anime News Network, uh, subtweet and call me a Nazi and tweet at YouTube to try to get my channel in trouble. When I'm reading their articles, now there is one thing in the previous video that might have pissed them off. I did say I don't know exactly where I am with Anime News Network because one of the photos they use um, as a, a source for why Vic is a bad guy, uh, kissing a girl in the cheek. Actually, the girl who was being kissed was part of his fan club. She came out and said that she uh, despised the fact that Anime News Network uh, was using her photo like that to try to smear Vic. And that was on, it was on Twitter. It was on Facebook. I do have that in the video. And I said, yeah, this kind of does damage uh, their credibility. Um, so anyway, so my tool, I did, <laughs> I did, uh, and I wouldn't have known, uh, I wouldn't have known if it wasn't, wasn't for Guns here that this even happened because he didn't tweet at me. He didn't tweet at Clownfish TV. Uh, he subtweeted, called me a Nazi, tweeted at YouTube to try to get us in trouble. We're doing absolutely nothing wrong. We're very balanced over here at, at uh, Clownfish TV. And um, uh, so I tweeted at Mike. And I said, Mike, what the hell? You know, basically why, if you're going to attack me, um, why, if you're going to attack me, did you not tweet at me directly? Uh, and I, you know, was, I was livid. I was livid. I'm like, I cannot believe that you're attacking me in, in this way. And, uh, he blocked me. He blocked me. Um, this is Mike's response. Uh, Mike's response to my questioning his decision to, uh, subtweet and run. Now, <laughs> you know, again, the, originally the video I, I had recorded today was just going to be about Vic uh, being removed from Ruby, what that means. Like, even if Vic is cleared, he's always going to have this, um, sit, he's always going to have this air about him. And I'm actually surprised that it took, uh, knowing it's rooster teeth, it took him this long to, to get rid of them. So, uh, yeah, actually, Geeky is in the chat uh, at Cambria. Uh, they can misuse photos and information, but heaven forbid you actually report as unbiased as possible with multiple sources. Uh, we're the ones who are bad and wrong. That is true. They actually did misuse a photo to try to smear Vic. And I did point that out. I said, look, I'm just, for whatever it's worth, the girl came forward and they misused her photo. And she was upset they misused her photo to try to smear uh, Vic. Ninja Bread Man, thank you, didn't have to do that. Political demagogues trying to destroy their ideological enemies in the American anime distribution industry. It's more likely than you think. Um, okay, so... This leads to, uh, you know, again, something else. We're not going to go there with the Vic situation. Again, I've pretty much said my, my piece. I don't know what's going on. He did apologize. I think the chips, unfortunately, are, are going to fall where they may for, you know, both uh, Vic and, and alleged victims, you know. Uh, but there's, there's going to be damage here because we actually have done multiple anime conventions. We have a lot of friends in the anime convention uh, scene. And you're associating Clownfish TV with Nazism. You, Anime News Network, uh, which is supposed to be the trusted source in anime news, your editor is associating our channel with Nazism. Um, publicly. Just, I, I'm floored. I'm just absolutely, I'm absolutely floored. So, uh, you know, and I will go on record as saying, and, and this is true. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to go there with Anime News Network. I'm not going to go to war with them. Uh, I'm not going to go to war with them, but I have had multiple people since we started doing videos on the controversy, which we've been again, balanced on, uh, the shield hero and goblin slayer and, uh, crunchy rolls, high guardian spice and, and, uh, people getting upset because they have military uniforms in anime and all of this, all of this other stuff. Um, since that has happened, we have had people coming to us behind the scenes with a lot of information and a lot of it. I never, uh, I never released because I, I couldn't prove it. But there have been at least two or three people that have come to me and said, watch, 
watch this group of uh, anime influencers, uh, Anime News Network, Crunchyroll, and a few others. They're trying to tear down the American uh, anime industry or try to tear the MA industry down to replace it with something a little more palatable. And I, I blew it off. I blew it off. I, I was just like, you know, this is kind of, this is kind of getting into uh, conspiracy theory territory, but you know, uh, we've seen all this stuff happen. And now, you know, again, to have somebody from anime news network uh, come, come at us uh, in a very cowardly, a very cowardly um, fashion, you know, I think, um, and not even bother tweeting. Like, why would you, why would you even give Vic the benefit of a doubt? Because I don't know the whole story, Mike. That's what reporters do. They gather, they gather information. I actually worked as a journalist in another life. God, um, you know, I, I, I imagine that I actually worked for real newspapers. Mike, have you worked for a real newspaper or just anime news network? The, uh, the leading source of, uh, anime opinions. Um, so anyway, uh, you know, I, I, we've joked before and I always put in quotes, anime gate. I I've joked before about it. I, I don't know what to make of this. You know, I don't know what to make of this. A lot of the tactics that we're see, you know, we see in comic books. Now the comic book industry, the gaming industry, um, the smears, the, the calling people Nazis it's here, it's here in anime now. And I always thought anime was kind of, I guess I thought the anime industry was kind of above it. You know, I thought they were kind of above it. So they're not, they're not, it's, it's here. There's definitely, uh, there's definitely a, uh, uh there's going to be a push against people who are calling out, uh, shenanigans in anime, in the anime industry. It's here, it's here. So, uh, again, I'm not, uh, not, uh, doing this to, um, stir shit up. I'm doing this to basically, uh, give my side of the story since I cannot have a discussion with Mike because he has blocked me. Uh, I did tweet at anime news network and I basically was like WTF. Uh, we have been convention guests. I think we have people, uh, in the MA community that would go to bat for us that would go to bat for us. Uh, you know, that we're, and I don't even know Vic. I don't even know Vic. I'm just trying to give the guy the benefit of the doubt and try to gather information and see what the truth is. You know, I guess that's a sin that makes you, that makes you a Nazi. That makes you a Nazi that, uh, you need to report to YouTube for giving opinions. And my advice for people who do this, and I've seen them do it with comic book videos too. Uh, I've seen them do it with comic book videos. Uh, watch the video, watch the video first before you go accusing people of things. Uh, you know, maybe you would learn something if you'd actually watched any of the videos regarding Vic, because I know it is such a, a sensitive, uh, issue right now because I know it's such a sensitive issue. I tried to play it down the middle. The only thing I did say that might even be remotely, remotely controversial is that I think the Vic situation is part of a bigger issue. I have heard rumors behind the scenes that there was going to be a push, uh, to, to push, uh, the situation with, uh, you know, comics and gaming into anime as well. And I, I ignored it. I ignored it. I didn't think, you know, it was worth covering because I didn't have any, any concrete proof, uh, that people were trying to, um, you know, make, make the anime industry, uh, woke quote unquote. But when you're calling people Nazis for no good reason, dude, that's just not good. And that's not good coming from a news outlet. That's not good coming from any news outlet. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to hop on here quick. Um, you know, every, yeah, Geeky's on here. She said the anime community has always been cool. We have always had a blast at every anime convention we've done. And I've said before about Vic, I said, well, Vic's guilty than other voice actors are too, because we've seen it firsthand. I mean, people, I think let their guards down at anime conventions, uh, you know, it's kind of a party atmosphere. Um, you know, but I, I, I mean, anime news network, I'm, you're not a news network you know, if this, if these are the people running your, uh, publication, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, you know, and again, I don't want to go to war with anime news network. It's not, not worth my time. It really isn't. We did a couple of videos about Vic. We did a couple of videos about Crunchyroll. speculated, speculated. Okay. Pure speculation, speculated on what we think might be going on based on other industries that are going through the same thing. Uh, I don't think we did anything wrong. We may do anything wrong. Uh, we just, you know, read the news and gave a little bit of opinion. That's, that's apparently that's a sin now. And you're a Nazi. If you do that, uh, L O Z. Thank you. Didn't have to do that. I miss when Godwin's law meant you lost an argument. Uh, I think they've lost the argument. 
I think I think Anime News Network. Like I said, I have always been um, tried to keep an open mind about Anime News Network. People have come to me before, and I've been reading Anime News Network for years, off and on. People have come to me before privately over the last two or three months, and they said there's there's like a cabal of people in the anime industry that want to see uh, anime become more progressive, uh, less problematic, and Anime News Network is part of that group. Uh, and I said, well, I can't, I can't prove it, and I'm not going to go pick a fight with anybody if I don't have the facts. Uh, Jesse Ann, thank you, didn't have to do that. Japan gives zero Fs. No, yeah, they don't. They don't. Um, so uh, that is that. My opinion of, of Anime News Network as a reliable news source is, is right up there with bleeding cool at this point. And again, uh, Mike couldn't even be bothered to to uh uh respond so i you know i actually tweeted at twitter support i'm like dude if you're gonna report me to youtube if you're gonna report me to youtube call me a nazi and report me to youtube then i'm gonna report you to twitter support because you're a blue check and you're calling people nazis you work for a news publication and you're calling people nazis uh for no good reason but yeah i'm with geeky it's not worth it I, i'm not gonna cover the vic situation anymore i'm just i'm not going to um, you know, it's, I've said my piece. I think there's more to it than just what's going on with him, regardless of whether or not he has, is actually, uh, uh, guilty of any, uh, you know, inappropriate, uh, stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, whatever. Uh, good luck with that anime news network. So anyway, uh, this is going to be a very, this is going to be a very short, uh, live stream again. Geeky's not on. She, she's very busy right now. And I'm the one who did the video. So I'll, I'll completely own it. I did the video. Uh, I thought I was fair. Uh, apparently, uh, even being fair is enough to, to, <laughs> to get you labeled a Nazi. I'll put a link out there to that original video. If you actually want to watch it instead of, you know, uh, uh, making, making assumptions. So that's it. I'm out. Uh, not going to post the other Vic video I had. It's not worth the aggravation. We've got better things to do. I'm just really, really, uh, really disappointed. I'm disappointed. We are part of, or we were part of the anime convention uh, community for a number of years. And, and to, 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 you know, to have this happen, uh, you know, is, is just, I don't know what to make of it. I don't know what, you're not making a very good case. I can't believe anything you say anymore, Anime News Network. Uh, because you used fake photos and you're painting us with the Nazi brush. So whatever, whatever. Um, thanks everybody for watching. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Going to move on. Scrapping the other Vic video, not doing it. Fired from Ruby, not surprised. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.